Hey, what is up guys, I'm KBHD here, and this is a Nexus 5 running the next version of Android, Android L. Now, this is nowhere near a complete build. In fact, this isn't even daily driving material. It's just a developer preview, and that's gonna give developers a chance to see what their apps will look like on the newest version of Android as they're making them. But that will also give us a look at what a lot of these new features in Android L will look like when it's finally done. So without any further ado, let's take a look at the top five new features in Android L. So number one is the new lock screen, and there's actually a lot of functionality added here. So in Android 4.4 KitKat, the lock screen was really just a place to check the time and then check to see if you have any new notifications. There's a lot of stuff added to this lock screen. First of all, you can now swipe up to unlock instead of pulling out on a ring. And you can swipe left to open the camera, which is the same as before, but now you can also swipe right to get directly into the phone dialer. And of course, now you have your system notifications readable on your lock screen without pulling anything down iOS style. So you can swipe away any of the notifications to dismiss them or click on one of them to open it directly from the lock screen. So you no longer have to swipe down and check to see all of your notifications they're instantly just be all a tap away as soon as you wake your phone. And then there's the little things like the updated looks. So the notification bar is now totally transparent. And if you're plugged in, you don't just get a percentage of how much battery you have, but you get the time remaining until you're done charging at the current rate. I think that is awesome. It's a nice little nifty touch. So number two is the notification panel itself. And this is actually legitimately redesigned. I think it's gonna take a little bit of getting used to and it's definitely the biggest change to the notifications we've seen in Android since the beginning. So of course you still swipe down from the status bar and you get the new animation to reveal the notifications here. And again, you have the ability to dismiss them by swiping or tapping one to open it. But you can see here this new look, the notifications are solid, but the background is totally transparent. And then you can swipe down again to get to your quick settings, again redesigned. So much flatter with this gray color here, no more swiping down with two fingers or trying to tap the exact corner. Quick settings are super easy to get to now with one hand. And bonus, we now have one tap to cast our screen to a Chromecast, kind of like AirPlay, very nifty, and an auto rotate toggle. Finally, we did not have that before. So you can also tap the notification volume icon to enter a new do not disturb mode and you have a volume slider, or I should say a brightness slider. So I like these new quick settings and the notification panel definitely looks different. And also there is this new heads up notification that Google demoed at IO. So if you get a call while doing something full screen, like reading or gaming, it won't totally take over your screen like it used to. Now you can decide to dismiss it and continue your activity. Now, number three is material design in Android. And this is one of the biggest talking points of Google IO. Matthias Duarte spent a while about it on stage and it's this new design philosophy about the way things will behave. What I'm getting out of it is you basically now will be able to see with animations where everything came from and where everything goes. So every time a new element appears on your screen, it doesn't just explode onto your screen and appear out of nowhere, it slides in from somewhere or it expands or grows out of something. Uh, so it's a new, it's a new look. And uh, of course, all of the stock apps in Android L will be redesigned when it's fully complete. But in this developer preview, only a couple of them are done, but we can take a look at them. Obviously checking out the calculator, this is one of the most basic looks at it. But again, everything slides in from somewhere and all this movement and animation gives you confidence about what you're doing and where things are going. Uh, you also see it in the new people app and the new dialer, all these animations are super smooth and I guess intuitive, even if they're not totally necessary. And Google mentioned its goal is to have all of these animations happen at a smooth 60 frames per second. So you'll never notice any stutter or lag. And I gotta say, I'm actually pretty impressed with how consistently smooth it's been so far on this Nexus 5. So honestly, this is probably the most important change of this new version of Android as things move forward. I'm pretty pumped to see more apps moving in this direction and we'll see what this ends up looking like when Android L is done. So number four is the new settings app in Android L. Uh, it's actually been completely redesigned and actually a little bit reorganized. So of course it starts with the new icon and when you open it up, it is a totally different look. Almost looks like someone put a theme on top of the old settings app. Uh, the scroll effect is different. The animations you get when you got to the bottom of a list or tap something, that's new. And the look of the toggles and checkboxes have been changed and of course animated. And you have a couple of other new settings to play with here. So first of all, in display settings, you have adaptive brightness now, which works alongside auto brightness. And you have your cast screen option to actually mirror your display to a TV by a Chromecast, which is pretty cool by itself. Uh, you also have a new looking storage settings, uh, new looking battery history. Again, this all looks kind of skinned. 
And you also now have a search box. So if you really can't find what you're looking for in the settings, you can type in the name of it to get to it quickly. And that's a nice touch. Obviously we've seen this in other skins on Android before. And that brings us to number five, last but not least, the other stuff. There is a lot of other little stuff that's changed in Android that you might not notice at first, but they definitely affect the way it feels. First of all, there's a new keyboard, uh, and this is actually available in a standalone app in the Play Store right now, so I'll link that below the like button. But it's different, it's much flatter, much more gray. There's, there's also the new Do Not Disturb mode I mentioned earlier, which will get you to choose how many hours you don't get notifications. There is a new multitasking, which again has that new look and feel thanks to material design. But of course it stays pretty smooth, it performs well. But really, that's it. I mean, Android L is mostly a visual overhaul when you compare it to Android 4.4 KitKat, besides the fact that it's switched entirely over to the new art runtime. But it's a new, different polish now, you know? It's a different type of feel for a stock Android, definitely very different from the typical Android 4.4 KitKat hollow look that we're used to. It's basically a departure from hollow, uh, and it definitely feels and looks that way. It even kind of reminds me of HTC Sense. The way HTC Sense has been flattening itself out over the past couple of years, we're starting to see Android and this version of Android L flatten itself out, uh, and especially that settings app reminds me of HTC Sense. But there it is, guys. This is the new stock Android. Uh, you'll be seeing much more of Android L in the couple of months that follow, especially when they get to the full final release, and we'll see a couple new devices have it. HTC has promised within 90 days of that release, the One M8 will have it. I don't know if anything else other than Nexus's will get Android L, but fingers crossed that we see it in a lot more places. So either way, that's Minute. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Feel free to give it a thumbs up if you do, and share it to other people who are curious about Android L. Thank you for watching. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace.